Y'all are asking me to put fries in the bag. They're in bags and over there. Uh, bad joke. This is why I curse. I, I need that to be fine. Another episode of 808 News. You guys liked it the last time. I actually didn't call it 808 News in the first one, but I think, I, I think that got a ring to it. We got Texas cop grabs alligator with his bare hands. Wait, actually, I'm going to spoil it. What? What am I talking about? I'm just going to get straight into these reactions. As always, no cursing. Every curse word is three push-ups. Let's just go ahead and get it. <laughs> off rip, off rip. This is clickbait. That is not an alligator. That is a lizard. And like, what? Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> You could step on that hole and kill it. What are we talking about? Wrestling a gator is probably- Wrestling a gator? This is wrestling a gator? Probably not what this Texas police officer had on his to-do list. The Fulshire Police Department says they were called out to a suburban home for a possible intruder. The culprit was spotted on the front porch. Oh, right there. Bro, you didn't even need to call the cops for that. It's just gonna walk away. Texans aren't used to alligators, bro. I swear, go to South Carolina with that. What are you talking about? The officer had the equipment. He said, if you don't grab that tiny ass gecko. To capture the juvenile alligator safely, but he decided to go with his bare hands. I mean, what else would he go with? Even though the gator was small, his teeth were still sharp. And he clearly didn't want to leave his spot in the shade. Yeah, what are we talking about? What are we talking Alligators about, bro? are a protected game animal in the state of Texas. They are no longer endangered, but special permits are required to hunt, raise, or He said grab that iguana. And when one shows up on your property that you'd rather not be there, homeowners are required to get official assistance to have the gator relocated. Wildest, strangest arrest caught on camera. That's a, That thumbnail is crazy. All right, let's get into this next one, bro. That one was crazy. That one was in. Eh. That one was in. Eh. What do y'all know about this? Do y'all know who this is? Y'all don't know nothing about different strokes, bro. What you talking about, Willis? Gary Coleman, bro. Yeah, oh, y'all put it, put some. He, he's he's passed. He, he's he's passed away, bro. Put some put put some respect on Gary Coleman, bro. Different strokes, amazing sitcom. That's crazy. Y'all are y'all are young. Was Gary Coleman murdered? That's one of the stunning questions raised in a controversial new documentary, Gary, which started streaming today on Peacock. What you talking about, Willis? Gary Come on, bro. I saw that before y'all even clocked it. All right, bro. Yeah, there. All right. All right. All right. Coleman was once the highest paid child actor in America, starring on the beloved sitcom Different oh Strokes. Oh, my God. What a great show. What a great show, bro. Strokes. Different Strokes was so popular, even First Lady Nancy Reagan had a guest spot. Who's talking about Mrs. Reagan? <laughs> but four foot eight inch Gary came to resent the character and his iconic catchphrase. It really? sounds ridiculous when I do it. I'm sorry. In 2007, after years alone, he married an unknown movie extra, Shannon Price. The marriage was tempestuous. I, I did not know that. I, I, I was not locked in. When did different strokes come out? Because I was watching reruns when I was a little kid. 1978! God, leave! Yeah, I was watching reruns in like, uh, 2000, like 12. I slapped him a couple times. I mean, nothing major, nothing like red flag. After one spat, huh? Coleman spent the night in jail. No jail time, not leaving my house, not paying any heavy fines. In 2010, Shannon called 911 from Gary's Utah home, saying he'd fallen down the stairs. Look, his head is bloody. There's blood all over the floor. I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. I, didn't I just know can't that be here was... with the blood. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I, can't... I thought he passed away, like, for health problems. Yeah. Shannon had doctors take him off life support two days later. Friends still question the circumstances around his death. I spoke with his friend, Kent Emmons, who Gary named an executor of his estate in his will. Do you believe in your heart that Gary died from an accidental fall? I thought it was health reasons. Hell no, that woman pushed him. What are we talking about? I don't believe that. And again, that's strictly my speculation. Uh, I, I don't believe it. In the Peacock documentary, Shannon denies any wrong. Nah, this is a super villain. This is a super villain right here, bro. There's no way. I didn't do anything. I didn't touch him. I didn't hurt him. I was nowhere near him. Nothing happened. Shannon triggered outrage when she allegedly sold the tabloids a photo of Gary on his deathbed. 
So you're telling me the same woman that could take a selfie with her dying husband is incapable of killing him and taking half his money or all of his money? I don't know how it works. Hell, that's a villain right there, bro. Which we are blurring. It was just sick. First of all, that's not the way, you know, Gary needs to be remembered. He was a great, wonderful, amazing. The most iconic character on the show, bro. Man. The child star who craved privacy had none, even in death. Dang, I didn't know that. Rest in peace, bro. I, did, I thought it was health reasons. But I mean, at the same time, I was like a little kid when that stuff happened. Next, we got author. Oh, speaking of death and relationships, we got accused author allegedly texted lover before husband's death. That is messy. I ain't gonna lie. The children's the author death. accused of poisoning her husband and then writing a book about dealing with grief. Now it's been. She killed him and then wrote a book about it. O.J. Simpson as situ culmination of events. Alleged that she texted a lover. Yo, yo, first time here, big fan from Morocco. Thank you, Dragon Bad R44. That's real. Just before her husband's death, they text frequently throughout the day. 39-year-old Eric Richens was found dead in their Utah home in 22. Damn, a husband found dead in a Utah home. That's two. We're two for two right now. 22. His wife, mom of three Curry Richens, appeared on a local TV oh, wait, show no, to talk lady, about his death also, yeah. and the grief book she wrote, Are You With Me? He was 39. It completely took us all by shock. But prosecutors say 34-year-old Curry Richens killed her husband by putting an overdose of fentanyl in his Moscow. It is what? Cow mule cocktail. A fent laced cocktail. Ain't no way. She also allegedly sent text messages to her lover in the weeks leading up to her husband's death. I just want to lay on the couch and cuddle you. Watch a murder documentary and. Uh, murder documentary? Interesting um, genre. Huh. Snuggle goes one text. The night of her husband's death. She texted her boyfriend, identified as a no handyman, love you. No Prosecutors also say Richens once tried to poison her husband's Valentine's Day sandwich. Two for two? How did she get caught the first time? The defendant is spending Valentine's Day with her paramour. She denies killing her husband. Prosecutors laid out the case against her in a pretrial hearing, and the judge ruled today that there was enough evidence to bring her to trial. Cook, cook. Cook. Killing your husband and writing a book about it is crazy, though. I'm not going to lie. How did you just gloss over, like, a poison sandwich, though? I don't have the details, obviously. Maybe he didn't know. Maybe they found out after the, after the fact. But if someone tries to poison my sandwich, we're not talking anymore after that. Next, we got French fries shut down a California freeway. If y'all are asking me to put fries in the bag, they're in bags I'm over there, you know. Uh, bad joke. This is why I curse. I, I need that to be funny. All of the southbound lanes of Interstate 5 were closed for about six hours after a semi truck S crashed. The Bro, if I'm trying to drive home and French fries cause a six hour delay, I'm gonna be tight. The impact of that accident. All you gotta do, if it's like hella French fries there, just set up like a, set up a camera with the 16 millimeter lens, a wide lens, put like three mukbang YouTubers there, put like a big tub of that sauce that they be eating. That hoe gonna be clear in 30 minutes. Yo-yo gonna sniff all the fries. The trailer from the truck and sent its contents all over the asphalt. Cleanup crew spent the early hours of the morning scooping up potatoes that had been cut and processed. But without a fryer, they'll never get to be french fries. All through LA's morning rush hours, traffic was devoted uh, to side streets and other highways. I know that was a nightmare to drive through. No one knows what caused the crash yet, and the California Highway Patrol is investigating. Restaurants may be missing their french fries, but more... So you're going by Yo-Yo 808 now. Remember me? It's Blaine, the guy who used to give you swirlies in high school. This is honestly hilarious. Also, remember Sarah, your crush? We're about to have our third kid, but it was nice catching up. You're pathetic. Mind you, this was typed by a 5'5 light skin with acne. Next, we got Amazon driver hits woman pushing her baby in a stroller. A heart-stopping moment. A mother pushing her baby in a stroller and holding a dog on a leash. Oh my dog! 
He, he went three. He got three. Bro, how do you hit the most innocent of person? That's a mother pushing a stroller with a baby with a dog on the leash. It's not funny if she goes flying. It's not funny. I promise it's not funny. However, it's so messed up that I'm gonna, I'm, it, it's going to be hard for me not to chuckle. Low down, the driver works for Amazon. The video was captured on a home surveillance camera in Miami. Then something shocking. The driver gets out of the truck and puts the baby back in the stroller and takes off. She does not check on the mother. This hit and run shines the light on some concern. Yeah, I bursted out laughing. You're you're sick. Turns about Amazon drivers racing against the clock to deliver packages. This latest accident is not the first of its kind. In this Austin, Texas parking lot, you That's the oh my my crib. See an Amazon driver leaning over a woman who she's allegedly hit. All right, I'm pulling into Amazon headquarters to get better insight into the training and workload some Amazon drivers undergo. In 2018, Inside Edition investigative producer Charlie McAravey signed up for a job. Austin, the ghetto. Hey, it's about to be your new your new home. One Cloud Nine. Come on now. As a freelance Amazon driver, also known as a flex driver. After training, he loaded 32 packages into his vehicle. There's no way I'm going to finish on time. What was supposed to be a three-hour job turned into a five-hour job. Oh, my God. One common complaint from Amazon Flex drivers, too many packages to deliver and not enough time to do it. It's important to note that Amazon tells its drivers to obey all traffic laws. On the road, always observe all traffic and safety laws. We follow drivers from this huge Amazon warehouse in New Jersey. This guy was really cruising down the highway. Posted speed limit is 45 here. This guy is doing 70. And ah, why are you snitching, bro? 70 into 45 is not crazy, especially on the highway. We're talking about speeding in, in residential areas. I'm going 75 on a 45 highway, bro. What are we talking about? I live in Texas. I'm going 80, 90 if I'm keeping it a stack. And watch as he nearly cuts off a semi truck. Oh, okay. We're being dramatic. We're being dramatic. I'll go 100 in the school zone. Nigga, are you trying to time travel? When this flex driver hit the road, we saw him run stop sign. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We're, we're grasping for straws here. We're grasping. They're just trying to get the video longer. Speed and cut across several lanes without signaling. <laughs> okay, you can't cut back to that. You it was a comedic cut. It was a comedic cut, bro. It was a comedic. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. A dude cutting up in traffic and then it goes to that? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. No, 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 when no, no. When this no. flex driver hit the road, we saw him run stop look, signs. Look, look, look. Speed and cut across several lanes without signaling. That's not funny, bro, but like, that's a crazy cut, bro. In this latest incident, the Amazon driver has been arrested and charged with leaving the scene of a crash. Thank God the neighbors were watching the video, heard the baby's cries and called 911 and fire rescue took her. He is reading a script like shit, bro. Thank God. Everyone was okay, and the n n neighbors heard, like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You couldn't be more obvious, bro. My airlift out of the scene. Amazon released a statement <laughs> saying, this is a terrible incident, and our thoughts are with this family. We're looking into the matter, and we'll support law enforcement as they investigate. <laughs> Why do they keep doing that? They keep, stop! Stop! Why did it? Bro, 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 they keep doing it out of nowhere. Who's editing this? We're looking into the matter and we'll support law enforcement as they investigate. I saw the clip. I saw the clip. We get it. No, no, that's not my fault. That's not on me. That's not on me. That's not on me. Amazon also says safety is their top priority. The driver who no longer works for the company has pleaded not guilty. <laughs> When I was this episode of 808 News, I don't know how many times I cursed. Uh, I'm going to guess. Let's say maybe like five. What's five times three? Fifteen? Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was 808 News. I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Am I going to hell?